Hey there guys, welcome to another one of Arbiter's Gary's Mod Tutorials. Um, I won't bother explaining what I've been doing with my life to uh, have not have been doing these because I don't want to bore you. But essentially I'm back and you know get some requests in. If you've got any anything you want me to show you, go ahead and PM me, put right on my channel, write in a video, I don't care, I'll, I'll, I'll see it and I'll, I'll try hopefully get it done. So, uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to continue on sort of with uh, expression 2. Um, one of the problems was I've just been watching one of my last videos and I realised that the thing I explained at the end with um the logic and the and and whatever was well it was it was dire. I didn't explain anything. So I thought I'd take some time out and I'd cover some of the theory behind programming to help you out with expression too, because understanding something can a lot of the time help you do it. So this is a theory lesson. So what we have here is we have three logic gates and or and not. Now the logic gates perform simple decision tasks uh, in programming. Now basically what we have on each setup here is a light that has been wired up to multiply by 255. Now obviously when this light, what we need to do for this light to turn on is obviously to multiply 255 by 1 and that will be what we're going to do. And we're going to do this with our logic gates. So to explain the first one, AND we're going to go in gate logic and find the AND and in brackets it says all gate. Now there's a few here and we're only covering three of them so I would ignore everything in between might get into it later. So I'm going to spawn this AND gate and just quickly wire it up so that the yeah, so that 255 is multiplied by the AND gate. Now you can see that it only has uh, it has a few inputs and basically the AND gate works as uh, it's hard to explain. The AND gate outputs a 1 when everything that is fed into it is turned on. So I'll show you. We're going to spawn two buttons, both of which are toggleable and have a value of 1. I'm going to spawn these and wire them both up. Now at the moment both buttons are switched off and as you can see the light is off. So if I turn 1 on the light is still off. If I switch both on, the light is now on. Now, that's because both the inputs are true, which means that they're switched on. If one of them is off, the light is off. If both of them are off, it's off. If both so an AND gate only works when everything that's being fed into it is true. Okay? So I'm just gonna turn this off and move on to the next one. So hopefully you'll understand that. The OR gate works in a similar fashion but it is true if any of the inputs are true so I'll just demonstrate again with our two buttons so again gate logic the OR gate right at the bottom any then we're gonna spawn that wire it up and spawn our two buttons okay so again multiple inputs on the OR gate and basically since it means it will be true if any of the inputs are true the light should switch on if I switch on a button so there you can see the lights switched on if I switch this one on as well it's still on if I switch that off it's still on if I switch them both off it's off so the OR gate works it outputs are true if any of its inputs are true whereas the AND gate is only on if all of its inputs are true okay I want to move on to the NOT gate, and the NOT gate's a bit of a, a bit of a it's a bit of a different from the other two. It's basically the invert, um, the the inversion. So I'm going to spawn a button just there, and we only need one button to demonstrate this. Again, gate logic in the NOT gate. I'm going to stick this in the middle, and I'm going to wire it up, and there you can see the light is on. Now the although the light is on the button is off if I turn the button on the light goes out because the NOT gate inverts everything so if you have an input and you say when this is not happening then something will happen if you understand that so basically the NOT gate just inverts all its inputs so if it's receiving an input that is on it will switch off if it is receiving an input that is off it will switch on like that so those are the three gates the any and the and the or or the and sorry now hopefully you 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 understand that brief 
int reduction, and now I'm going to move on to expression 2 in regards to it. So, the first one is and, as we did before. Now, as explained, it is when all of the inputs are true, or that the, the output is true as well. Now, so we're just going to open up a generic uh, gate here that I've written. So we start to write the if statement, and it is if a is if A is true, then B, else C. Hopefully you remember the um, ha ha like the structure an if statement would take. So we're gonna sort of we're gonna obviously input our the, uh, the variables that we have, which is input one and input two. Now obviously this is an AND gate, so we want it to have both the inputs being true. So the way we write this is if input one equals one and that's the and symbol input 2 equals 2 so basically what we have here is we have one condition and another one in the same if statement and now we've just connected them together with this and symbol and basically that means that if these are both true and down here we can say that output output equals 1 Oh, no, sorry. We're lighting up a light, so we're going to say 255. Because, obviously. And then, obviously, we're going to say else output equals 0. This means that if both the inputs are switched on, then the output is 255, which will light the light. Otherwise, it's 0, which won't light the light. Oops, I forgot to... Ah, that should be 1, not 2. My bad. So when they're both switched on to one, uh, that was silly of me. Okay, so respawn it, and then hopefully when we switch on both these these buttons, there the, the light comes on. If we switch off one of them, they're both off. If we switch off this one, they're both off. So that is we have written an AND gate. So what we're going to do now is we're going to write the OR gate. So this is the OR gate. It's got to have the same inputs: input one, input two, and output. Now, the if statement takes pretty much the same format, except that we're going to say if input 1 equals 1, or, I'm, I'm just writing or for the moment, so ignore that, or input 2 equals 1. And that's our condition, but obviously the or syntax takes the line, takes the form of this uh, it's sort of like, well, my, my, my programming teacher calls it a pipeline. It's basically it's a it's a vertical line, and it's if if you're using an English keyboard, it's right next to your left shift, in between Z, uh, next to Z, and it's basically just a vertical line, and it means or. So we're going to say same thing, or that output equals two five five, else output equals zero. And that's our expression this time. I'm going to save this as or gate. Okay. And then we spawn this. Do. And that's the or gate. So we wire this up. We say that. We're going, uh, let's use green light for this one. And input 1 is there. And input 2 is that. So we set this off. And the green light's on. We set this one on. Green light's on. We set this off. Still on. Set them both off. There we go. So that's an OR statement that we've just written there. Remember that the OR statement is the pipeline, is the vertical line next to your Z. Now, our next one we're going to use is the NOT gate. So, same again, we're just going to open up a generic gate here. Call it the NOT gate. And uh, we only need one input, so I'm going to delete this one. So we'll just have input one and output. And we're going to write the expression. So if and then our expression, which I'm going to leave to last. Uh, do out. Can I can I click on that when it when it pops up like that? Yes, I can. That's nice. Equals two five five. Else output equals zero. Okay. Now there's two ways you can do this. Really, a not gate is essentially it's active when something is equal to zero. So what we could do is say when input 1 
is equal to zero and that would carry out the function that would that would carry out the same function that the not function would but the proper syntax to do it is is to just before the variable is to put an exclamation mark and that basically means not input so basically to invert to say that when that is not one so basically when it's off to run this statement and I'll show you save as not gate okay close spawn it wire it up let's use blue light for this one and you can see it's already on but if I wire this up it's still on if I turn this if I turn this button on it's now off if I turn it off it's now on and that's how that works so we now have our three gates working and that should be how you do it in expression 2. I hope you found this informative and it's explained a bit more to you on how to do logical steps in your expression and I'll see you next time.